Hello boys and girls, um, if you hear any screaming, my daughter's playing a scary game over there, so um, that's what that is. Uh, I'll tell you the game in the comments or something I don't want to say out loud, just in case. Uh, is this dark? Do we need light? Oh, we'll see how we get on. So we're going to do a quick review of this, and this, and this, and this. This is a sort of standard Sirtoys 4-pack. And interesting, this is your obligatory bumblebee kind of thing. Okay, this is your I want to say Generation Z tank or something, not 100% sure. This is Cyber Battalion Starscream, not sure. And um, whatever this is. Oh, and there are scary things behind her that she can only see in a mirror over her shoulder. Saying, not my fault. Ooh, spooky. Okay. Um, yeah. we got these guys, and quick size comparison, because I didn't really prepare this very well, but, you know. Kingdom Cyclonus. So, they're small deluxe, big legends -y kind of things. Okay, we'll get him out of the way. Ah, uh, dear, she's scared. It's fun. All right, okay. Should we do a size comparison? Let her, no, done size comparison. Transformation, okay. Uh, so we'll start from this side. We'll go for Bumblebee. Yay! The classic Bumblebee thing. They did the standard tribal things. Because why not? Bless her. All right, so we'll stand it up. Aha! Standard Bumblebee transformation-y thing. Okay. Sorry, I can just see her jumping out, out of a skin corner of my eye. It's quite funny. Um, don't ask me to play a horror game, though. I'm terrible at that sort of thing. Uh, right, so we need to get this side piece loose. How does that work again? Because it must come loose. This is uh, the way of Ikea. Ah, okay. There's a big tab. Right, okay. uh, this big sort of tab section here. Oh, no, hole, peg. Ah, apologies. You know what? Have some light. Hole. Peg. So that pegs onto there. All right, okay. Pop that loose. Pop that loose. Split the legs. And... Fold the chest down. <laughs> she's laughing. Uh, sorry, she's scared. It's quite funny. And there he is in his little robot mode. And he's a little cutie little fella. He's... Nothing worth writing home about, but you know, he's a nice enough little fella. Um, the head is not bad, actually. Not bad at all. It's a sort of Transformers Prime Bulby, but it ain't bad. Okay. And there. Uh, sorry, a ghosty woman just keeps going, Don't look at me! Stop judging me! And she's just wetting herself every time. It's great. Uh, right, so, we got this. Nice enough little tank. Barrel turns, although it starts showing holes if it does. I don't know if these are extra machine guns all over it, or they're like smoke launchers or chaff launchers or something. I assume these are exhausts, I, I guess. These would be chaff or something. It's it's pointy. Ooh, she's very scared. Have you tried turning around and looking at her through the mirror like it told you to? Look through the mirror. Yeah, you might want to look up a bit. There you go. See, she doesn't like it. Look around a bit so it shows her. She doesn't like it. There you go. Okay, so, better of you, sorry. Um, so what we need to do is split the legs a little bit. And rotate them down. And they peg in somewhere. Again, I can't remember how this works. There we go. It's a little hole there. A little peg there. So we need to sort of like nudge them out a bit, rotate them down. Okay. Okay. And now we need to do the arms. So we need to split these at the front and then run a slider in there, slide this down and slide this down. And that's your lot. There are no real arms to this. Bit of a shame, really, because that would have made it. I mean, 
theoretically, and I'm not saying I'll do this because I'm not very good at this sort of thing, but you can cut along the the edge here underneath and then put a hinge in so that these could fold down and have like a hand moulded in. Yeah, you know, so that these fold down to the arms. But sadly you've just got these sort of like wiggling stumps. Bit of a shame, because again, the face is quite cool. Uh sorry. Face is quite cool, the moulding's quite cool. Yeah, even the legs have got like a ball joint at the hip, nice screw band, quite nice big tootsies. Quite cool. Is this a uh, guzzle from uh, Dark of the Moon? Never got guzzle. Liked guzzle. Why guzzle? What's the other one? Flack. Would have loved flack, but never got him. So I'll put that there. Do the old screamer. Okay. Ah, see, the mirror scared her away. There you go. Okay, so we'll lift it up and we'll fold down the nose cone. It's got a tab there that goes into that slot. Hold that down. The arms do peg on. Hang on. Unpeg the. Yeah, that goes into the back of the hand. Unpeg. Ta un. Yeah, the legs there. These little tabs here. A few slots there. And then fold this all the way over, where this little tab in there goes into this in the top of the cockpit. Tab in, just. And there's a little screamer. He's alright, he's kind of cute. Could do with knees, and could do with a ball joint or something for the shoulder. Although, that possibly is a ball joint, I'm not sure. Do something a bit more manoeuvrable. And the chest is a little bit plain, but he's not too bad, not too bad at all. Leave that there. Sorry, this, this I'm keep getting distracted by her playing this game, waiting herself. It's quite funny. Ah, uh, all right, okay. Stand, stand, screamer. There he is. Are you lean against him. Yeah. All right. Don't lean against him. Stand on your own. Well done. I'll get this one. I don't know what's this wind charger or something. No, it's a little van. Don't know. Don't know what this is. Okay. Ah, it's come untapped. I, I honestly don't know what this is, but ooh, it's definitely from the same make as that. Eww. Okay, so we need to extend the legs, split the legs. Wow. Okay, extend out the arms if we can untap them first. Untap them first. They're the same as this one. Little hole there, little tab just underneath. Okay, and rotate down the chest piece. There we go. Oh, he says SWAT. That's knees. Maybe that just means he's a nerd. Um, you know what? He actually comes off quite well. He reminds me of one of the little G2 guys. You know, the ones with the little silver engines that plugged into the chest. He reminds me of one of them. What were they? The motivators? Something like that? I can't remember. Ooh, some of this panelling catches on that, so you can't really bring his arms up without lifting the chest panel up. But I imagine you could trim that down, it shouldn't make a big deal. Um, yeah, that's what I was looking at before. The slider is literally uh, like a mushroom peg. So, you slide it out a little bit more. You, well, the first time it popped off. This time it doesn't want it. There you go. That's a bit questionable, but I'll be honest with you. Once you actually get it locked into place, it works pretty pretty well. So that's quite neat. I like that. Okay. Let's go there first. Right. Size comparison. Let's pan this up a little bit. There we go. So there's uh, Kingdom RC. So again, the, the sort of legendy whatever kind of size. Another size comparison, because I just felt like doing it mainly, is Weird Combiner Bumblebee. So they're probably about the size of each of the components of that, but they don't combine, that I know of. And of course, because I just feel like doing it more than anything, Titans Return, uh, Sky Shadow? Don't know why, I just felt like doing it. So they're, they're quite teeny and tiny. 
lower this down again. But yeah, again, it's one of those. I think a lot of the Surtoy stuff is, um, if you're so inclined, you can actually do a lot of work on them, like sort out the shoulders on that. That'd be quite cool. Maybe put a knee on it. I mean, this isn't bad. The face is a bit... Eh, it's the same face as that, actually, I think. Might be the same body section, completely. Yeah, I think it is. It's the same body section, completely. That's sneaky. Oh, hang on, I didn't show you guys that at all. Sorry. It's the same body. Sneaky, sneaky. Is this the same one? Is this confirming they're from the same set? It is, as well. Disgraceful. But although he's got a better head. Why are you falling over now? You were standing before. So yeah, if you can do some work on them, and if I was brave enough, I'd try and put elbows on that. I, I might see what I can do. I make no promises. Because if he had elbows, he'd be really cool. Yeah? Elbows that folded underneath. Uh, so it folded out. He'd be really cool. And possibly cut in there and put a swivel so you could rotate this, but I'm not not sold on how well that would work. The face is nice. Kind of a gold bug kind of thing. Oh well. I'm going to call it a day there. Because uh, I still need to do a video for Friday. So, I should be ugly, I should be wretched, and I shall see all of you in the next one. Bye-bye!